Time for the Lions to get their identity back on the road this week. You are Locked On Lions, your daily Detroit Lions podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. On a Monday edition of Locked On Lions, we welcome you in everybody on a Monday, September 16th and a Tuesday, August 17th. Matt Derry with you on the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Lion fans are not too thrilled after yesterday's 20 to 16 loss to the Bucks. We're going to let you know what Pro Football Focus thought with our top five or their top five and bottom five Lion performers on offense and defense today. We will get into an identity question, certainly, with the Lions throwing the football 55 times in yesterday's loss. We're going to get you an injury update, some notes from Vegas, and our call of the day. As uh, many of you have uh, chimed in on our SpeakPipe voicemail system at speakpipe.com slash dairy podcast page. We picked out our best call, and we'll play it in a little bit on our call of the day. Locked on Lions today brought to you by FanDuel now through September 22nd. All FanDuel customers can bet $5 and get a three-week free trial of NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube and YouTube TV. Visit FanDuel.com to get started. Follow us, please, on Twitter at Dairy Speaks, at Locked On Lions, Matt Dairy Facebook fan page as well. And thank you to those of you that uh, check us out daily on our Locked On Lions YouTube channel. You can uh, watch us for free and subscribe. Thank you for doing that. Shout out to our everydayers who are out there that watch or listen to the show. Heard from an everydayer today, my guy, Matt Cunningham. Uh, I'm going to the Monday night game with Matt. Uh, Really appreciate Matt uh, for the invite. He's an everydayer, great dude. And uh, um, Drew Hargrove, I love Drew. Great dude, talked to him today. He loves his Lions. A couple of everydayers, we appreciate you watching or listening daily to the show. All right, you 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 know if you've been watching or listening to this show for eight, nine years or how long I've been doing it, um, you know that I'm not going to fly off the handle. If I have to blast somebody, I blast. I will rip. If I have to give props, I'll do that. Uh, I've been called a homer. I've been called too negative, which is good. That means I'm right in the middle. Everybody take a deep breath. All right. I was in downtown Rochester today and someone came up to me. Oh, what's going on? When are we getting Hendon Hooker? I'm like, oh my God, Hendon Hooker after two weeks? Come on, people. Jared Goff has not, a, had not played good football yet. He looks off. But I'm not panicking over one and one. I told you at the start of the year, the game I was most worried about in September is the upcoming game in Arizona against the Cardinals. Never easy to fly all the way out west and have to play out there. And even when the Lions have played some bad Cardinal teams out there, it's been a it's been a slog. But I'm not panicking. I look at this division. I watched the Bears last night. I've seen the Packers play. Uh, Minnesota's off to a 2-0 start. I tried to warn everybody the Vikings were not going to be some joke team. They're off to a 2-0 start and playing pretty good football. And all of a sudden, Sam Darnold looks great. Sam, everyone's talking about Sam Darnold ascending. Everybody's talking about Jared Goff descending. Water will find its level with both guys. Jared Goff is going to start playing better. Sam Darnold is going to start Sam Darnolding. That will take place here. All right? We're not talking about the Saints going to the Super Bowl just because they won the first two games, are we? No, we're not. But I look at the game film. I rewatched the game last night a little bit. I didn't watch all of it because it's painful. Look at the stats. Yes, let me give you some stats. Uh, The Lions, let me do this again. I said this yesterday, but I have to say it again. The Lions threw the ball 55 times in a four-point game. This was not the Ravens game from last year where it's like, up. this wasn't one of those classic Stafford, uh, uh, Stad Padford games where the Lions lost by 24, but Padford threw for four bills. Uh Uh-uh. This was a four-point football game where the Lions had not one but two chances under two minutes to go to go for a touchdown. Down four. Threw the ball 55 times. What have the Detroit Lions done since week 18 of the 2022 season? What have they done? They pound the rock. 
Remember at Green Bay in week 18 when the Lions ruined the Packers season, when the Lions sent Aaron Rodgers, uh, uh, you know, out of Green Bay, they pounded him. They pounded them. They ran the football. They ran the rock. They utilized the strength of this team, which is for the last handful of years has been their offensive line. Taylor Decker, Frank Ragnall, Panay Sewell, Glasgow. This year, Zeitler, last year, Jackson, whatever it's been, the Lions have put together under general manager Bradley Holmes a very good, off to great offensive line. And they've played to their strength. I mentioned the Packers. What did they do yesterday? They went, uh oh, what's our identity? Our identity going to be with Jordan Love hurt? We got to run the ball. And they did. They ran it down the Colts' throats. What have the Eagles been doing? When it's third and short or fourth and short, they they they, they go with that uh, Philly, not Philly special. You know, they go with the tush push. Why? Because their offensive line is their identity. The Lions should never, ever throw the ball 55 times. And I don't care if Y.A. Tittle, uh, uh, Dan Fouts, Troy Aikman, or Bobby Lane is back there. 55 attempts is not N-O-T in all caps and in bold print, not Lions football. It's not. It is when they played the Ravens last year and lost 34 to 6 or whatever, 34 to 8 or whatever that score was. Every team has a clunker. Every team has a game where their quarterback's got to just throw the ball because they're down early. It happens. Yesterday was too close of a game against too good of an opponent to be throwing the football 55 times. Some of that is on the coaches, absolutely Dan Campbell and Ben Johnson. Some of that is on Jared Goff as well. Check down into a run. Talk on the sidelines about, let's get back to what we do best. You got Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery, and you throw 55 times, and you run uh, 27. That's not... That's not good. Yesterday, Tampa Bay threw 19 times and ran 23. That is more of a balance. And again, the Lions offense is better than the Bucs offense. I don't want to, yes, Baker Mayfield's looking good. The Bucs, it's their, it's their fourth straight 2-0 start. Good for Baker. But I'm not ready to crown Todd Bowles and Baker Mayfield after two games and say they're better than Jared Goff and Dan Campbell. But the Lions have things to clean up. You got to get back to what they do best. And I got news for you. This Sunday, what is Arizona a little bit weak at? Run defense. So the Lions have got to get back to pounding the ball and using the clock and not having their quarterback throw the ball 55 times. Has Jared Goff played well the first two weeks? No, he's not. He's not played well. He looks rusty, looks off. The interception yesterday uh, uh, over the middle, throwing it to nobody was uh, abysmal the end of the half i don't i don't need to go over that again we did it yesterday on the on the on the sunday pod horrible decision making by dan campbell he owns it it was john l smith esque with fast field goal in columbus it was all bad but this team only lost by 4 could have won the football game 22 to 20 they did not they're right there. They're going to be okay. But the identity has been over the last couple of years to run the rock. Yes, they've got a great and excellent passing game. Yes, they got a all pro receiver in Amon Ross St. Brown, who, by the way, just has a little bit of a contusion and uh, had some cramping yesterday. He's fine. Alex Anzalone gains media poster boy, Alex Anzalone, in concussion protocol right now. We'll see how that goes throughout the week. If he can come back and a Terry on Arnold, it sounds like. Not a major injury. So that's good. Good news. But let's run the football. And let's you know, start it early and often on Sunday out in Arizona. You want to establish your will. You want to take the crowd out of the game. The Red Sea in Arizona. Run the ball. And I want to see more of David Montgomery. And I want to see more of Jameer Gibbs. But in the passing game as well. I like that they spread him out wide in the first play of the game yesterday. Keep doing that. 
but that was not the Lions' identity. And the more you think about it, all the things that went on in yesterday's game, the biggest stat was 55. 55 pass attempts, not acceptable. Not acceptable. <sighs> all right, I got that out of the way. Very important. Uh, coming up next, Pro Football Focus. We love the folks at PFF. What did they think? How did they grade the Lions from yesterday? We will do that uh, coming up next. It is a Monday edition of Locked On Lions following a loss. Lions and Cardinals, 425 this coming Sunday. Matt Terry here to tell you about a Locked On Lions sponsor, LinkedIn. When you're hiring for small businesses, you want to find quality professionals that are right for the role. That's why you have to check out LinkedIn Jobs. LinkedIn Jobs has the tools to help find the right professionals for your team faster and for free. It is simple. Everybody that's in business is on LinkedIn. It's very popular. It's where people post stuff all the time about events, about things with their company. You got to get on there and find quality candidates on LinkedIn. People are on LinkedIn all the time, not just looking for jobs, but seeing what's going on. It's great. LinkedIn isn't just a job board. Like I said, LinkedIn helps you hire professionals you can't find anywhere else, even those who aren't actively searching for a new job, but might be open for the perfect role. In a given month, over 70% of LinkedIn users don't visit other leading job sites. So if you're not looking on LinkedIn, you're looking in the wrong place. And on LinkedIn, 86% of small businesses get a qualified candidate within 24 hours. Hire professionals like a professional on LinkedIn. Post your job for free at linkedin.com slash NFL. That's linkedin.com slash NFL to post your job for free. Terms and conditions do apply. And Locked On Lions today also brought to you by our friends at Game Time, the ticket app that I think is absolutely the best for purchasing tickets for the theater, for concerts, and of course, for sporting events. Game Time has a new feature called Game Time Picks that makes getting tickets for your favorite live events even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. Best thing about Game Time is when you're on that app and you really want to get a feel for where you're going and where you're sitting, whether it's Tiger Games uh, here down the stretch, Lions next Monday night against Seattle, uh, is the view from your seat. It's fantastic. You get a panoramic view from your seat in the app before you buy so you know exactly where you are sitting. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use code LOCKEDONNFL for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account, redeem the code L-O-C-K-E-D-O-N-N-F-L for $20 off. Download game time today. What time is it? Oh, it's game time. It's a Monday edition of Locked On Lions right here on the Locked On Podcast Network at your team every day. Pro football focus. We love the folks at PFF. What did they think of the Lions' performance this past Sunday in terms of individuals? Who played well? Who did not? PFF grades out all the guys, and we do this on Mondays. We give you the top five and bottom five Lion performers. Um, first of all, my crack research staff, let me find this before I get to um, game time, or excuse me, uh, PFF, sorry. My crack research staff, uh, da, 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 I got to find, sent me a very interesting stat from this past week in regards to the defense. Think about this for a second here. For the first time since 2011, the Lions defense has allowed 20 or fewer points in each of the team's first two games. 20 points to the Rams, 20 points to the Bucks. First time since 1996 that the team has allowed 20 or fewer points in each of the first two games and haven't started 2-0. So we can pick on the defense all we want and talk about Terry and Arnold struggling with pass interference and maybe you know, uh, you know, not getting enough pass rush, not named Aiden Hutchinson and whatever else it was. And I'm going to tell you about some of the, the guys at PFF that did, the guys on the lines at PFF did not think have a good game. The bottom line is that's a pretty good number. 2011, the last time the team had started off the year, giving up 20 points or less in back to back games. So the defense needs some help from the offense. Speaking of the defense, top five lion performers on defense. 
yesterday. Aiden Hutchinson, again, with his four-and-a-half sack performance, got a 90.9 grade, highest on the team. Brian Branch was second at 86.1. Kirby Joseph, third at 73.9. Aleem McNeil, fourth, 67.8. DJ Reader, in his first action of the year, 67.7. Those are your top five Lion defenders. Bottom five, Kyle Pecco in nine snaps, 29.1. Terion Arnold, 33.2. Ouch. Not a good performance, according to PFF. Uh, Malcolm Rodriguez, 50.9. Carlton Davis, 54.6, was fourth worst. And uh, then Jack Campbell, fifth worst at 56.6. Those were guys that struggled yesterday in the Lions' four-point loss to the Buccaneers. Uh, on offense, highest-graded Lion was Kevin Zeitler. Um, wait, no, hold on. I want to make sure I get this right. Yes, Kevin Zeitler, 78.8. Lions offense had 85 snaps in this game. 55 passes and 85 snaps. 78.8 grade for Zeitler. Amon Ross St. Brown was second at 76.3. Uh, Taylor Decker, third, 75.3. Panay Sewell, fourth, 69.6. David Montgomery, 69.4. Those were the top five Lion performers in the game yesterday. Bottom five, Sam Laporta. 42.3. Not a good game for Sam. Didn't get open. Didn't get the football. Jared Goff, again, struggled. 49.0. Second worst. Frank Ragnow had a game to forget. 54.4. Brock Wright, 56.1. And Khalif Raymond, 58.6. Those are your top five and bottom five Lion performers from yesterday's defeat at the hands of the Tampa Bay Bucs. And let me just say one other thing. If you think it's just the Lions struggling right now, have you watched the first two weeks of the NFL? We got one more game to go tonight with Atlanta. All right, Atlanta at Philadelphia. I got a little secret for you. Quality of play is down. All right, red zone offense around the league is down. Houston and the Bears last night was not a good football game. It was entertaining. C.J. Stroud's the man. Nico Collins is a beast. Josh Gaddis, good job at Michigan, utilizing Nico Collins. <laughs> that dude is a stud. He was not a stud at Michigan. But this field goal settling, the league, the quality of play the first two weeks is way down. Again, First team, first stringers and second stringers aren't even playing in the preseason. Remember how we talked about Isaiah Williams in the preseason? Oh, Isaiah Williams. Like that was the highlight. Lauren Strickland and Isaiah Williams. These are guys that might not ever get on the field during the regular season. These teams are, are rusty. Quality of play is not there. The Pittsburgh Steelers are 2-0. and Justin Fields threw for 117 yards yesterday. Come on. They're 2-0. and Their offense is is atrocious. Like I said, Minnesota, hey, give them credit. It's a nice win over the Niners yesterday. <laughs> They're not that good. Are they really 2-0 and quality? Did you watch the Bears offense last night? It's abysmal. Caleb Williams, God bless him. He's going to be good, I think. But he looks like Fields out there. So I think this week is where we'll start seeing better play overall. That's just my opinion on it. Um, Vegas, our friends at FanDuel, was looking at the uh, the line. The Lions come in as a three-point favorite Sunday as they head to the desert, take on the Arizona Cardinals. What I find interesting is the folks at FanDuel and out at the, in the desert believe that this is going to be a high-scoring game because the 51-and-a-half uh, number, over-under, total, is the highest of any game next week. It's not even close. There are games with uh, over-unders at 39, 38, 51 and a half. And the Cardinals are dangerous. I said it, I, I, I said it last year on this show. I think Jonathan Gannon and that staff are good. The Cardinals still probably another year away, yes. But Asafort, their GM, Gann and their coach, I think they know what they're doing. I think they are modeling themselves after the Lions, and they're like 
Campbell and Holmes year two. I, I truly believe that. So this is going to be a very interesting game Sunday. Never, not going to be easy, but of course the Lions can win. But it's going to be entertaining. Because yesterday, Kyler Murray put on a, 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 a magic show with his legs and, and finding Marvin Harrison Jr. That's a deadly combination. So Vegas thinks it's going to be a high-scoring game. The number is at 51 and a hook. All right, coming up next, our uh, call of the day. We'll do that next. We are working on some guests for this week. Obviously, do the crossover with Alex Clancy from Lockdown Cardinals on Thursday. Might do a little PFF. Might do a little Dave Pash this week. We're, we're uh, maneuvering some things. We will get into all of that, uh, including our call of the day. We'll do that coming up next. Locked on Lions brought to you by FanDuel. You've heard us talk a lot about FanDuel, America's number one sports books, uh, sports book. Well, they got something a little bit different for you. Now through September 22nd, all FanDuel customers can bet $5 and get a three-week free trial of NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube and YouTube TV. Then with a YouTube TV base plan, you'll be able to watch every regular season Sunday afternoon out-of-market game. All you need is a Google account and a current form of payment. And you can cancel anytime. Just visit FanDuel.com to download America's number one sports book. Mentioned before, FanDuel as the Lions is a three-point favorite right now with the over-under at 51 and a half. Want to get in on Tigers Royals this week at FanDuel? You can. Player props and everything. Visit FanDuel.com to download America's number one sports book. All right, so you can leave a call of the day as well on our SpeakPipe voicemail system. Just go to SpeakPipe, P-I-P-E dot com slash Dairy, D-E-R-Y podcast page, and uh, leave a voicemail. We might play it for you or or play it of you uh, on our call of the day. Um, Today, once again, and this seems to be a trend, our uh, call of the day comes from out of town once again. Robert checking in. He is our call of the day. Listen to this. Hey there, Matt. Uh, this is Robert Mendieta. You and I are LinkedIn buddies. Hey, I just uh, thought I'd reach out to you. Um, I, I'm over here in uh, Southern California, Riverside area, um, and uh, grew up over there by the Pontiac Silver Dome. Used to ride my bike as uh, when I was a kid and go down to uh, watch the summer um, training. Um, anyway. Wanted to reach out, just uh, finished up watching the, the Buccaneers, uh, Lions uh, lose to the Buccaneers. That was kind of a tough loss. Uh, only one out of seven um, with the um, red zone efficiency is uh, just a recipe for disaster. But um, also watch the highlights of the Rams and Cardinals game. I've got my tickets to, to go out to the Cardinals uh, game here uh, coming up this uh, next weekend and um, just wanted to find out what your thoughts were on how the um, the Lions would fare you know fare up against the Cardinals and uh, you know how what, what I guess what's the recipe for um, a successful win in the um, uh, the Cardinal area so uh, anyway, keep up the great work. Really enjoy the um, the show, and uh, you take care. Go Lions! Thank you, Robert Mendieta, for uh, checking in. Uh, checking in with us, he'll be at the game of this Sunday, as will uh, every dayer and the uh, Lions fan legend Matty Style will be out in Arizona. Matt's got to get us a dub. Uh, thank you, Robert. Though very good, uh, interesting question from Robert about what do the Lions have to do to beat the Cardinals. Look, it's Monday. We'll have all week to talk about it. Two things, though, stick out for me right here, right now. Number one, guess what? Aiden Hutchinson is going to be facing another backup right tackle this week. Jonah Williams is hurt for the Cardinals and out Kelvin Beecham, kind of a veteran swing guy, plays all the positions on the offensive line except center. Kelvin Beecham is their starting right tackle right now. And so, again, another opportunity for Aiden Hutchinson to be facing a backup right tackle. That's three weeks in a row. And out in Seattle, they got offensive line issues, and it could be four weeks in a row next week for Monday Night Football. So Hutchinson coming off the edge and getting to Kyler Murray will be a key as the Cardinals will have a backup right tackle in Beecham. 
having to check him. That's number one. Uh, number two, I said it before, the Lions have got to run the football. Have to. Um, number three, Buda Baker is a guy to watch for the Cardinals. He's flying around right now the first two weeks. Really, really good player. Just like a torpedo out there. And we know about Kyler Murray, his ability to, 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 to scramble and to make plays with his legs and then, you know, scramble around and, and make throws. And Marvin Harrison Jr., Maserati Marv, uh, is having off a good game. Cardinals are, are well-coached, good team. You can run on them, though. Watch out for Baker, though. Really good player that uh, uh, the Lions are going to have to identify this week. And, and again, hopefully with you know James Conner and everything that the, that the Cardinals doing with Kyler Murray running, that Alex Anzalone is, is healthy. We'll see if he clears concussion protocol in time for uh, this game on Sunday. But look, Lion fans have high expectations. I get it. We've, there's been talk of Super Bowl and everything else. They're one and one. Everything's going to be all right. I truly believe that. This is not going to be an easy game, though, Sunday. Um, but it'll cer certainly be entertaining. I'm very intrigued by this one. 425 on Fox coming up on uh, Sunday. All right, that'll do it for us here on a Monday edition of Locked On Lions. Thank you for checking us out wherever you get your podcast, making us your first listen right here on Locked On Lions. We are back again tomorrow. Talk to you then.